Hi there. I was uh, given a couple of books for Christmas uh, and I just want to recommend them to you if you like sketching, if you like urban sketching, if you just want to see different people's styles and how they go about uh, making paintings and sketches then these books are wonderful, they're lovely. I've just really enjoyed skimming through them, dipping back into them, having a look at them and um, the books that I'm going to return to again and again and again. So the first one is uh, The Art of Urban Sketching and the second one is The World of Urban Sketching and they come as a, a pair really. The first one was written 10 years ago and the second one, The World of Urban Sketching, was written just, just last year. And both of them contain wonderful examples of people's sketches uh, from around the world, literally from different countries from around the world, people going out and sketching the street, sketching what they see. So let's have a look at them. So here's the first book, The Art of Urban Sketching, Drawing on Location and Around the World by Gabriel Campanario. He was the, the founder of the Urban Sketchers movement that is, uh, is still very alive and thriving around the world. And uh, it's um, $27.99, UK pounds, $37.99 Canadian dollars. But you get a lot of value for that money. I think it's really well priced. And so this is the first book that was written 10 years ago and it covers travels right the way around the world. So right the way through the States, South America and across through Africa, around Europe, over to Asia and down to Australia. And there's urban sketches in all these places and what you see as you go through the book are examples of people's uh, sketches. There's a section on what urban sketching is. Uh, it's got the Urban Sketches Manifesto in there, how these groups operate and what they do. And a little bit about how to get started in urban sketching. And then we get into various places around the world with various um, people who are sketching. So you've got a little bio of the sketcher and some of their pictures, some of the way they sketch and some pointers about how to, how to do it yourself, uh, some things that they say about their, their sketches. And what I love are the differences. Everybody sketches and paints in a different way. So, so the book is, a, is a, a visual feast for the eyes and for the creativity. When you look at it, you can just get inspired. However you paint, you'll find things in here that will just inspire you to do it in different ways. So all of these are sketches in sketchbooks uh, from right the way around the world. And just in reading some of the, the things I've just enjoyed reading about some of these urban sketches, who they are, how they got going, what they do, and also bits and pieces about, about um, how they've done the pictures that are in the book here and how they approach um, sketching outdoors. And so there's a big feast of painters, of pictures, and you get to go around the world as well, just to see different places. And it's amazing that you find sketches in all sorts of different places around the world. And um, they, they come with their different styles, with their different backgrounds to it. But I think that's absolutely wonderful. But what is more wonderful is the second book, I think, which is more up to date and this is the world of urban sketching celebrating the evolution of drawing and painting on location around the globe and this is by stephanie boa who's a very famous urban sketcher herself and she's compiled this book and again it's 
takes you around the world visiting various places and, and visiting various people who are sketching again from all over the globe and so you get this wonderful mix again of um, people's sketchings the way they do it I think there's more pictures in this book which makes it really good to look at and to dip into I love the stars now and again she picks on somebody who was in the first book and shows how their work has has changed and grown over the last 10 years and what they're doing now as opposed to what they were doing then and that's fascinating and there's also uh, various what she calls aha moments when people suddenly realize something about um, painting or sketching that has really moved them on or it really encouraged them there's also various tips uh, from, from from them about how to how to do urban sketching so in a way it's similar to the first book but actually I think there's more to it I think this this book has got a lot of extra things going on in it she has these spotlight areas which is about um, sort of features about taking things this one's going to extreme so we're looking at different perspectives um, somewhere on here there's a whole section on Covid and what happened during the time of Covid which is is interesting um, just to see what people were, were sketching and painting during the time of Covid mostly interiors and things but um, fascinating just to see that a uh, whole section on painting people, drawing people, sketching people in different situations but uh, there's just a lot going on and I, I was just learning, I just enjoy sketching outdoors and just when I look at this I just see things that I could do I think, wow that's a really good way of doing this or that's an exciting approach to it that's materials that I've not used before and uh, it just makes you want to get out and start sketching so that's those two books um, I heartily recommend them they're books that I'm going to go back into very often just to browse through just to have a look at and to get inspired by so uh, I'll put the links here for you for them and go out and get yourself a copy